what the fuck is this? Nick? I mean, it, it, it's... Okay, could this be like a typo? Uh, could they have accidentally fucked up and entered the wrong thing by mistake? I mean, that's possible, I, I, I suppose. Uh, did somebody put up a false document? That's also possible, I suppose. But this is different, right? Like we saw Nick's, that's just drug shit and gun shit. Why is this here? Why is this charge uh, neglect or endangerment but physical or sexual abuse? I'm, I, I guess I'm really fucking confused. And it makes it somewhat ironic to me that you're engaged in civil litigation with Montegraff right now, accusing him of being a boy fucking pedophile, when the state is charging your wife with potentially physically or sexually abusing one of your kids. Or neglect, does that mean neglect that led to physical or sexual abuse? So my understanding of the, the sequence of events that went on were a mandatory reporter, which is somebody that is legally obligated to report what they believe is a dangerous situation for children, went to the police. Now, it's uh, it's been rumored, there's been some documents that have circulated that it was their local priest or preacher or whatever. It was uh, the leader of the congregation at church had gone to the police and raised concerns about the kids. What exactly those concerns were, I don't know. Nobody seems to. But the police, for whatever reason, decided that it was good enough information to then take a week, I guess investigate, get a warrant, and show up at the house and battering ram down uh, the door uh, to charge them with guns and weapons charges, or, or weapons and drug charges, and then endangerment charges. But then specifically to have this for the wife doesn't fucking make sense to me. Somebody make this make sense to me. I mean, you know, I'm willing to hear Nick out on this. And I know that, you know, you've got a criminal case. Obviously, you can't say certain things. But what, is this a real charge? Is this a real thing? Is this a typo? Did somebody fuck up? Is this just the heading it gets put under because somebody entered a different kind of endangerment? Is this saying that they're accusing her of endangerment or that somebody else might have endangered them? And what exactly did the, the priest say? that would lead them to believe this. And I mean, Monograph now could legally go out there and say some really horrendous shit about you and your wife, right? Because now he's got legal documents that say this shit. So what the fuck is going on? I mean, I don't think Nick Riketa is a bad man. I think he's made horrendous choices. And Nick doesn't strike me as the type of person that would hurt his kids. And I don't know anything about his wife, so I, I guess I can't say about that either. But I need somebody to explain this portion of it to me. I mean, is this bullshit? Is this fake? Is this a forgery? Because this is, this is what's out there. This is the police report. This is a charging document. I don't know, man. Now, Nick has had a response to this. He's come forward with uh, a response after he got out of jail. And again, you have to understand one of the things in regards to this is what is he going to say? Right? It's different than civil. It's criminal. So he obviously can't come out and say everything he wants to. But this is what he said. About the news. So, hey, obviously a lot has happened. I'm sorry for legal purposes. It must be reiterated that the sorry is that is, uh, for the disruption and is no way related to any pending legal matters. That said, please realize that no one has the full picture or story of anything. It's possible no one ever will. Nothing reported is accurate, and that's not their fault. I've seen so many supportive messages. Thank you for that. I'll still be doing stuff. I'm home now. Stay tuned for show announcements and stuff here on Locals. Nick. <laughs> 